Hi everyone! Hi everyone! I'm finally back! Hi everyone! I'm finally back! I can't believe... Hi! Hi everyone! I'm finally back! I hope you all doing well and I can't believe it's been 3 months since I last update I didn't expect it would take this long, you know? It's been um, 3 months, I guess, since my last video update Oh my god! Well, you know, time flies! So in this video, I'm gonna uh, explain to you what I haven't posted for a while and what I've been up to. Um, yeah, get ready with me. So I need to prepare everything, my makeup, and I'm really, really exciting to see you guys again. Um, actually, since I'm in New Australia, I already kind of give up makeup things. I I don't have much stuff. Let, let me show you. Yeah, this is my final makeup stuff. Just some um, foundation. Do you call it foundation? I really not sure. And um, what they are call? Um, why are I doing this? Cause I don't know all this English, right? Um. So yeah, I just gonna do a very quick makeup. And usually, to be honest, I don't do foundation anymore again. I have confidence on on my skin. For those who are new here. Let me introduce myself. So my name is Amber. I'm from China, from China Shenzhen, um, where it's very close to Hong Kong. That's how I always introduce myself. I was um, a designer when I was in China, and then the COVID it gave me a strong urge to see the outside world again. And then luckily got a New Zealand working holiday visa by myself. I was so excited. So then I quit my job. I packed my suitcase, I head to New Zealand. Yeah, and then after that, just a lot of crazy things happened, a lot of dramas. And while I was there, I also managed to get a um, Australia working holiday visa. And after spending a year in New Zealand, um, I'm here. And last year and a half, having the most crazy year, fabulous of my life. If you want to hear more about my story, um, welcome to subscribe and give me a like. That definitely made a lot. This is the eyeshadow I bring from China years ago and now it's been look very... <laughs> There's some color I don't really use. For example, these two very dark colors. I don't know what to do with them. And these three actually. One, two, three. I just don't know. I used to do a lot of makeup when I was in China. But I think New Zealand and Australia are really changing me a lot. People don't really care about what you that look like. I mean, they care. It's more they care about how's your mom, how's your feeling, how's everything going on you. And um, um, if you really care about your look, um, they will give you confidence about that. They will like, oh, you, um, I like your eyeshadow. Um, I like your makeup today. You look fabulous. But I'm sure even though if you don't do makeup at all, they won't care at all as well. They won't mind, I mean. Just like this. My lip balm has been giving me a long company. Did you call it lip balm? Maybe they have a special name. Okay, um, I'm done with my makeup. Let's call it the end. Maybe I should change your jacket top later. Okay, that's it. That's a very quick makeup. Okay, so why I stop post video for a long time? Um, the reason is I've been noticed that something I didn't like about social media like psychobullying or some toxic comment I realized I have developed a social media addiction again I'm spending hours and hours scrolling through apps like Redbooks, like Weibo, like um, Facebook, Instagram without learning or doing anything meaningful It was really annoying so I decided to take a break like a completely break and I wanted to emerge myself in real life and give my attention to people I care about, my family and my friends and I kept thinking about should I stop making video altogether. But even when I stop posting, I still receive a lot of comments from you. Yeah, I really appreciate that. It reminds me why I'm stop making video at the first place to encourage young girls like me to realize that you actually have a lot of choice in your life. You don't have to rush to get married to fix the society's expectation. You don't have to get a stable a boring job you hate it so much you don't have to work from 9 to 9 a.m to 9 p.m for six days a week i know a lot of young people in china they still live a life like this i just respect but i feel sad 
I I really don't know what to say. So yeah, so what I want to say is you can be whoever you want to be. You can do whatever you want to do. There's no right answer about life. And I don't want to look back one day and regret not doing things that I wanted to do. And some of you might notice that I recently I've been less active on some platform because I I know my mom, my family been watching my videos um, and some somehow some part of me I just don't want to look at it I just feel like they won't understand I have to be myself I, I cannot be the one you expected to the good girl you expected I want to be myself I, I definitely took a lot of effort to doing that because when you cannot satisfy them to fix their expectation to you there's some distance between you and them will grow did you really willing to take the outcome? this is me being struggling for this year either I be selfish my mom always say I'm selfish and either I become no one it's a tough topic you know I think we can talk about that more in the future uh, video so yeah that's the reason why i haven't updated for a while and the second question what i've been up to so my last update actually it's when i was in west australia albany i was working in the meat factory cutting meat every day can you believe just a girl like me <laughs> cutting meat every day after finish the job i actually get my second year visa extension we make a very bold decision we when I moved to, from West Australia to East Australia I believe it's around 3,000 to 4,000 kilometers It's a really, really long way It was the longest drive we ever have At that point, I were, we were totally realized how big Australia is And we saw a lot of broken cars along the way Because once the car broke down out there Nobody bothered to take it away it was really a long and boring drive with nothing much to see and then we dropped to Melbourne before we settled down we went back to China for three weeks to visit my family and friends and to travel around a bit we actually went to Sichuan, Shanghai, Shenzhen where I came from and Hunan, Zhangjiajie I only went back for three weeks we went so many places and we don't really have time to relax and then we back to Melbourne um, and my friends from New Zealand came to visit us we live in a Airbnb um, together for a week which is really amazing and nice reunion with them it's a very nice and warm stuff for uh, Melbourne yeah and then they're back to New Zealand and then we moved to a share house and now I am in my own place in Melbourne. I mean, we not buy this, but we rent this place. And I know I all you guys are room tour. So next video we can do this. Today I really run out of time. I think I need to go in a minute. So yeah, I'm I'm still in my working holiday in Australia, and I believe my experience are special and worthy to share. I hope my experience can encourage many of you who are, have a heart of traveling and want to see the world to take the action, explore the world by yourself. And there are so many things to update you on. Which part you are most curious about? Let me know, I will share more in my next video. And if you want to see the next video, please remember to subscribe and get a like to get a comment for this video. It means a lot, believe in me. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I feel so great to be back, and I hope you can see you soon. Bye.